What's up guys? We're getting to the nursery here. The peach tree. $29. Apparently trees are kind of cheap right now guys. In case you want to buy some. The statue is $69.99. Still has no leaves, but you like this flower? Thank you guys. Pear trees are starting to bloom already. Isn't that beautiful? Like the flower? Flower that bloom. I don't know if they're special or whatever, but look at these prices. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. I wish I could buy a lot. So if you want me to plant some tree trees, let me know. Pretty flowers also. Orange trees. Grapefruit. Beautiful grapefruit tree. Lime tree, 50 bucks. Beautiful waterfall. That's for you. And I've grown corn. And dude, this is so expensive for a corn plant. Guys, okay, so everything looks good here. A lot of people having a good time. That tree? Yeah. What what kind of tree is it? A peach tree. It's a peach tree? Yeah. Alright. Who's gonna plant it? Me. Huh? Me. You're gonna plant it by yourself? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna plant it. You're gonna plant it? Please both of the So alright, I, I wanna I wanna see that. Got a little tree. Alright, so we're waiting for more food. Alright, Anthony and I already started eating. So I'm gonna officially start eating too. Alright guys. This past week, I had the privilege, the honor, the delight of planting a tree. It was a plum tree, and I went ahead and planted it. I love working with trees, honestly. It's very fun for me. So, right here, you can see it's a purple leaf plum. So, just start putting this. I'll do about half a bottle. See how that works. Alright. And this is not to make the brick yellow, it's just to kind of make a yellowish in the inside. The yellow color. I'm not sure how well it will stick. The color itself. Alrighty, so now we're gonna start laying the bricks here on the mold. So, okay. all right, you guys. So, I'm just gonna put the paint on top of it while they get dry. That way, hopefully, it sticks to the bottom a little bit. There you go. Yep, and now let's put the red. My only concern, I guess, would be how it will dry. You know, I don't know if this extra coat will prevent it from drying evenly. So, this is how they look. All right, my friends, this is the result of today's work. I tried several methods, these here are just paint spray paint spray can paint painted over the brick once it was like these bricks are still wet they're still wet and like i pretty much painted on top of them just after i laid them down after i pull up the mold see how it dries out my intention my goal is for it, the paint to get into the actual concrete you know and kind of we get mixed going to the pores and all that let's see if that works or not here I got some other ones that this I just painted on top of it just over it and let's see how it goes these two are other other tries and they're just drying now this one's still a little bit wet 
I'll let it be. And this one is a red one. Not sure I'm liking how it comes out. I so today I tried out this new mold that I made. You can lay two bricks at once. I can even make it bigger and put four at once. And it's just a simple mold. I'm gonna make it sturdier, but I just wanted to try it out before I do that to see if, if I like working with it, how I feel. And it passed the test 100%. Much easier to work with this mold than with the other big one. So I'm gonna make start making molds like this. So and, and I'm gonna add a little some handles on the edges and make it sturdier. <coughs> the wet piece. This yellow line. See if it makes some yellow. Good morning, you guys. So here are my bricks, and I'm gonna start working on them. I would say that applying the paint before did not really interfere in the drying process. Yeah, it didn't really interfere in the drying process. So I think applying the paint, the spray paint, once I put them like lay the bricks to after the mold, um, I think it's okay for them, you know. And I'm scraping them, and the paint's not coming out. I'm not scratching them, the paint's not coming out, so I think it was a pretty successful method to apply the paint. I mean, if I really scrape them, it, it does start to come off a little bit. But anyway, so right now what I'm going to be doing, all these little edges, I don't know if you guys can see, and I'll get close to the camera, has these excess cement of when I remove the mold. I'm just going to be removing all this, and I'll get it closer. Just so you guys can see, I'm talking about this area right here. Just gonna be all this. All right, guys. So I went ahead and flipped the bricks. They're all facing kind of the same direction, back towards me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting them. Of course, you wanna be careful not to paint the yellow ones with red, and vice versa like that these bricks are still wet from the bottom and they're still wet uh, they're still wet inside so they have to be dry uh, I would say at least three to five days not even more a week and a half for them to be completely dry alrighty this one the spray paint I'm scraping it it is coming out a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work if I put the spray paint afterwards. Check this out. Now this side's not really coming out, but the other side was. Well, I don't know. I don't know what, this was kind of weird. More tests will need to be done. To determine that now there is another paint that you could buy at the store and i went to home depot yesterday morning and i found it but it, it only came in dark brown and in black you know and I'm, I, I guess eventually I'll, I'll try that one but i kind of wanted some other colors you know like yellow and and like bright red and stuff i'm going to check online to see if, if they have any of those colors and if so, that's what I wanted to do. But for now, um, well, I wanted to try out these painting methods. So overall, I would say that um, I'm gonna to continue to experiment, of course. Um, applying this spray paint before kind of works better, I think. But I'm gonna to have to find out and test it out until the bricks are fully dried. So, I mean, and another thing that I'm gonna to have to test out is how it reacts to when it rains. So I'm gonna have to just, once it's completely dry, just come with a hose, you know. I probably want one of these just to be, 
to be on the safe side, you know, make, make it a, the pressure a little bit stronger, you know. The rain won't be as strong, I think, but still, you know, I want to apply some, some pressure just to test it out, you know, worst case scenario and stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today, guys. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. Angie, Angie, Tenka. Want to say goodbye to your followers? So your name is Totenka, huh? You react to Totenka, but you don't react to Angie. All right, Totenka Valley is your name. Say goodbye to your followers. You see, Totenka Valley. <laughs>